Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. The Diagnostic Trouble Code, DTC, B1225, denotes an open circuit in the in-car temperature sensor for the Honda Accord models from 2012 to 2017. This code indicates that the in-car temperature sensor, responsible for measuring the interior air temperature, is not properly communicating with the climate control unit. The sensor plays a crucial role in regulating heating and cooling based on the cabin temperature. Its location is typically behind the dashboard, integrated near vents for accurate temperature assessment. When this DTC is triggered, it can result in incorrect climate control settings, leading to inadequate heating or cooling inside the vehicle. Understanding this code is essential for effective troubleshooting and accurate repairs, ensuring optimal cabin comfort and climate control performance. Final repair verification is critical after addressing the issues associated with DTC B1225. Once the necessary repairs or component replacements have been made, the technician should clear any existing DTCs and recheck for any active codes using the HDS. This process ensures that the previous issues have been resolved effectively. If DTC B1225 does not reappear, it indicates that the repairs were successful and that the in-car temperature sensor and its related circuits are now functioning properly. Furthermore, a practical test should be conducted to confirm the normal operation of the climate control system, verifying that heating and cooling respond accurately to adjustments made by the driver. A preventive maintenance is an essential part of sustaining the Honda Accord's climate control system and avoiding issues like DTC B1225 in the future. Regular inspections of wires and connectors associated with the in-car temperature sensor can help identify wear or damage before they cause significant problems. Technicians should be vigilant about checking all connections to ensure they are secure and free from corrosion, as loose or corroded connections can lead to intermittent failures. Additionally, maintaining a clean climate control system by regularly replacing cabin air filters and ensuring the cleanliness of air vents can contribute to the system's longevity and efficiency. Implementing these preventive measures will significantly enhance the reliability of the vehicle's climate control system and ensure continued comfort for occupants. In conclusion, understanding DTC B1225, which indicates an open circuit in the in-car temperature sensor, is crucial for maintaining the performance of the Honda Accord's climate control system. This DTC highlights not only the importance of the temperature sensor, but also the significance of the wires and connections that facilitate communication between components. Correct diagnosis and repair are essential to ensure that the climate control system operates optimally, providing accurate temperature regulation for driver and passenger comfort. The troubleshooting steps outlined guide technicians in systematically diagnosing the issue and determining which component needs attention. Following up with preventive maintenance practices can prevent future occurrences of similar problems, ensuring a comfortable driving experience for years to come. The error description for DTC B1225 highlights that there is an open in the temperature sensor circuit. The in-car temperature sensor has a vital role as it measures the air temperature inside the vehicle allowing the climate control system to adjust appropriately. This sensor is typically positioned behind the dashboard, often near the air vents, to obtain an accurate reading of the cabin environment. If the sensor is malfunctioning or not sending proper signals, the heating and cooling systems may fail to respond effectively to the climate adjustments needed by the occupants. By pinpointing this issue in the DTC, technicians can proceed to identify and rectify the electrical circuits connected to the sensor to restore functionality. There are several potential causes for DTC B1225 
that must be considered during troubleshooting. An open wire in the circuit indicates a break or disconnection that prevents proper electrical flow between the in-car temperature sensor and climate control unit. Loose connections can also be a culprit, as they may lead to intermittent communication between these components. Additionally, a faulty in-car temperature sensor itself could trigger this code if it fails to perform its intended function. Thorough inspections of the wiring, connectors, and sensor are essential to determine the exact cause and to address it efficiently. The symptoms associated with DTC B1225 primarily revolve around issues with the climate control system in the Honda Accord. One noticeable symptom would be malfunctioning climate control, where the system fails to provide appropriate heating or cooling, making it uncomfortable for the occupants. Additionally, inaccurate temperature readings may be displayed, resulting in a lack of trust in the system's ability to maintain a comfortable cabin environment. Drivers may also experience issues with either warm or cool air continuously emitting despite adjustments being made to the climate settings. Recognizing these symptoms can help technicians focus their troubleshooting efforts on the relevant areas of the vehicle. The first step in troubleshooting DTC B1225 involves clearing the DTC using the HDS, which stands for Honda Diagnostic System. To initiate this process, the technician should first clear any diagnostic trouble codes currently stored in the system. Next, it is important to turn the ignition switch to the lock comma zero position and then back to on. Or alternatively, press the engine start stop button to cycle the ignition from off to on. Executing a self-diagnostic function via the HDS or the climate control unit is crucial as it allows for a fresh assessment of the system status. Finally, it's necessary to check for the presence of any DTCs once again to determine whether the issue persists, thereby ensuring proper diagnosis. In troubleshooting, step two, the goal is to check for an open wire in the TR line. Begin by turning the ignition switch to the lock zero position. Following this, Disconnect the climate control unit's 32P connector and the in-car temperature sensor's 2P connector. This disconnection is vital to isolate the wiring for accurate testing. The next task is to check for continuity between test points one, which is the climate control unit 32P connector number 23, lat blue, and test point two, the in-car temperature sensor 2P connector Number two, lat blue. Conducting this test under conditions where the ignition is off ensures a safe and stable environment for measurement. A continuous circuit would indicate that the TR wire is intact, prompting a move to the next step. In troubleshooting step three, we focus on the sensor comm line to ensure its integrity. Much like the previous step, First, ensure the ignition is in the lock, zero position, and the appropriate connectors remain disconnected. Continuity must now be checked between test points one, located at the climate control unit 32P connector, number 22, and test point two, the in-car temperature sensor, 2P connector, number one, blue. It is essential to perform this test while the ignition is off to maintain safety and prevent any current flow during examination. If continuity is confirmed, this indicates that the sensor calm wire is functioning properly and the technician can confidently proceed to the next troubleshooting step. During troubleshooting step four, the technician is tasked with checking for a shorted wire between the TR line and the S5V line. Continuing from the previous steps, maintain the ignition in the lock zero position and keep the connectors securely disconnected. For this check, continuity must be measured between test point one, which is the climate control unit 32P connector number 23, LT blue, 
and test point two, located at the climate control unit, 32P connector, number 24, black. This method aims to identify any potential shorts in the wiring that could be affecting sensor performance. If continuity exists, this indicates there is a short that needs repair between the wires connected to the climate control unit and the in-car temperature sensor, informing necessary corrective actions. The final troubleshooting step focuses on the in-car temperature sensor itself. After verifying the wire integrity in the previous steps, the technician now conducts a direct test of the in-car temperature sensor to assess if it is functioning correctly. A well-operating sensor should provide accurate readings, essential for effective climate control. If the test confirms that the in-car temperature sensor is performing as expected, the next step is to replace the climate control unit as it may be the component affecting the signal processing. Conversely, if the sensor is determined to be faulty, it should be replaced to restore proper operation of the climate control system. Ensuring these components are in good working order will help eliminate DTC B1225 and return the vehicle to normal functioning. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.